Hello everyone, my name is Professor PC and this is our fifth lesson. So today we are going to talk about something about Zhou Dynasty. So um, I give you uh, an assignment about uh, uh, discovering what happened on Zhou Dynasty. So it has been a long time of peace after the death of Zhou or King Zhou Wu and uh, all of the people living happily in this country. But this is not a fairy tale. Uh, the final king of Western Zhou Dynasty is called Emperor Yu. Emperor Yu is actually uh, not a very talented guy, but uh, he is very fond of beautiful ladies. So uh, one time he found uh, his uh, ministers uh, presented a beautiful uh, lady called Bao Si, and uh, she was called one of the beautiful, uh, most beautiful lady in the country of Zhou. So the king was impressed of him, of, of her. So she, uh, he decided to make this woman happy. But the woman seems that always have something that bothered her. So she uh, refused to laugh or didn't have any emotion of happiness. The king really don't have any ideas how to uh, solve this problem. Uh, so uh, he wants to make a really funny joke and make the girl uh, laugh. So now, uh, so you know, in ancient uh, China, so they built cities uh, of the great wars and uh, the king's palace. There are also some signs that can be uh, be sign of fires or stuff to remind the army in other parts of the uh, of the kingdom to save the kings. Uh, so this is a kind of warning and watchtower system. But, so he decided to make a joke according to this. So one night he invited two lady on the top of the watchtower and show her the beautiful views of the cities. But the lady won't smile. So the king, um, the king put the fire into the signal tower. So the whole tower was lit up with fire. All the armies of other sides. Uh, in other parts of the countries came to rescue the king. They flushed into the capital city wanting, wanting to save the king from invasion. But when they arrived, they saw the king was standing safely with his own ladies and surrounded by uh, guardians. So these armies were really furious. They said, why are you guys sending me here? The king said, I'm just wanting to make my beautiful lady laugh. And finally, the beautiful lady do laugh. But all of the soldiers is very furious. When they returned, they decided that maybe the, if there is a new sign appearing on the capital, it may be another joke. A joke. But actually, something happened unfortunately. The invasion took uh, place uh, in the capital city of Zhou. When all of the enemies flushing into the cities, the, uh, the king wanted to litter the tower with fire again. But next time, when all the armies saw the signal, they said, Oh, the king is making another funny joke now. So they said, We, we don't need to come there. We, we shouldn't be the people that will be joke gone. So now the armies came to the capital to rescue the king. So the king, king was killed by the enemies from the north. And uh, the uh, uh, Western Zhou, uh, Western Zhou's um, uh, dynasty actually ends, but uh, other aristocrats became king and formed the Eastern Zhou dynasty. But actually, um, the king uh, Emperor Yu dies didn't because of uh, corruption or stuff. He died because his self-induced death. He really make a joke that shouldn't be regret. Um, shouldn't be regret. So when people talk about him, nobody talk about him with mercy or stuff. All people think him as a joke that he actually cheated his own soldiers and make the simple things become sophisticated. And of course, this beautiful lady actually misses in the chaos. So it's a very sad story for people. Uh, uh, um, like. In the, other, uh, in the other side of the screen, 
but actually some of the uh, some of the times people actually uh, make themselves dying, and this is called self-induced die, uh, self-induced death of Emperor Yu. So um, this is maybe the ending of this class, but I'm going to give you another little assignment to keep you guys to um, keep on with our classes and to do imaginations. So I, as I talk about uh, Eastern Zhou Dynasty emerged after the death of Western, U, uh, Western Zhou Dynasty, what's the basic differences? Why these two dynasties were separated? Why uh, these dynasties is considered differently in the period of his, uh, his history? So I'm going to inform you something that uh, um, after the death of Yu and the emergence of the Eastern um, Zhou Dynasty, many little countries uh, that is originally owned by the friends of uh, King Zhou Wu actually stands up and become stronger ones that can control the Eastern Zhou Dynasty. Found something on the internet. Thank you guys. And this will be the end of this class. Uh, hello, uh, this is the end of this class. <laughs> Uh, this is Silk Hua story when Silk meets the Rome. I can't.